Swadika. Welcome to uh, the weekly Oracle show. Uh, we have Sasquatch here. He's, uh, I guess he's about to go outside. But um, anyway, uh, so this week it, it's really been about um, kind of, it almost has felt like a sick week, even though no one's really sick. Um, he, he's getting better. His eye is getting better. Um, and ha 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 is feeling better, but I guess we, we had to um, move the chickens in um, out of the smaller cages because of the rain, and we're waiting on um, getting getting some platforms for them so they'll they'll stay dry in there. So because everybody, we kind of changed up the routine, and um, I, I'm keeping the the main door shut for for the chicken house, so it kind of has that like you know feel of um, uh, everyone being staying home you know uh, everybody everybody's been hanging out in the chicken house and it's been really cozy and comfortable and everyone's kind of been uh, recuperating from from things and the little babies are are excited to have the whole chicken house and that's why I keep the door closed so the little babies don't come out but um, yeah, so it's it's kind of like that that we're all kind of nurturing nurturing ourselves, taking our our time to rest, um, taking a you know Sabbath day, like a, a day to to make sure we uh, you know feel feel good, um, feel rested up. Um, I know I myself have been feeling really tired for some reason this week, and I, I know there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. And um, I do have some stories about um, a lot of close calls going on um, with the chickens. And I, I know that there's a lot of stuff on the periphery that, um, that is going on that is not, it's not in my immediate view, but I, I can feel it, I can sense it. And, um, and I think that's why I'm feeling tired. It's like, uh, even if I'm not conscious of things, I, um, my, my body, my subconscious is aware of it, and it, it makes me tired because I'm working on different levels. But um, yeah, so we've had a couple close calls, and we've had a lot of biting, uh, like in terms of I, uh, Amida, she is having an allergic reaction to some, some, um, I think maybe spider bites. She had two bites on her neck, and um, she she looks like a ghost, and you know I kind of was noticing it was a little bit strange and I thought maybe it was um, foul pox but it's really it, she's having an allergic reaction her skin is um, to to these spider bites so um, she represents uh, protection or or um, forgiveness so this is about you know she represents um, the the need to to regain um, your your sense of self and to you know not be angry, to, to feel peaceful, um, and actually she did find her one of her babies too, so that that was really cool. Um, so we went from eight back to nine. That's <laughs> why. Um, so anyway, I don't know if you. I guess Sasquatch wants to be on on the camera. <laughs> anyway, um, Sasquatch, come here. Yeah. Anyway, um, so there's a, there is a recovery. It seems like there's recovery, but there's also kind of a, a stale a stalemate, you know, a kind of a, a holding, um, you know, kind of like a freeze. She looks like a ghost, so it seems like she, you know, she got bitten and she kind of is in this little frozen state, or you know, she she looks like, um, you know, just kind of there's a pause right now with her. So um, if you know, if we haven't really been able to, um, you know, come out of being on the edge from last week and, you know, jumping into new things and, you know, releasing old things, um, it, it might be, you know, there, there was one last irritation, one last bite, and, and that always makes us, um, you know, uh, we have to have time to process that. That's why it's so important to, to not have people in your life that are really bothering you because it's not just that moment, but it's the time that you have to take to unwind from that moment. So it's like, not only were you upset then and you get over it, but it takes like, you know, a day or two to really get over things. And I don't know, um, you know, how she had two bites on her actually, which is 
weird why it wasn't just one, but she had two bites on her. So, um, you know, just something, something that's kind of throwing you into a freeze. And, um, you know, I, I was thinking even the other day we were talking about how um, there's these raft, raft houses in Thailand, and they have these raft houses um, all over the place. And uh, you don't notice it when you're on there. I mean, you kind of notice it. You notice the, the, the raft house is kind of going up and down. But it's like the two days afterwards, you're walking, uh, you know, after you leave there and you're walking on solid ground, that's when it's like your body starts to fall. And it's like your body's memory has to come out of this this um, state of being, on, you know, in a in a situation so you're in a situation for you know a day even it's just one day and then for two days your your body's feeling like it's falling because of what what uh, had you know the experience the moment-to-moment -moment experience got imprinted on your body and then we have to unwind from that imprint and um, same thing I remember you know jumping waves when I was growing up in um, you know on the East Coast and we'd be jumping waves all day and then at night I, I could it felt like I was still in the waves it felt like I was still doing the same thing my body had that memory you know and it, it the body kinda continues to experience it for a little while after you're already out of it you know so um, you know like I said we, we we need time after we get out of it and that's when you really feel it you don't really feel it when you're going through it you, you're you're too focused on what's happening to really feel it but then when you come out of it and you move, remove yourself from a situation then then you're really feeling it so that's what I, I have the impression of this week being about is like us kind of feeling what we came out of or you know a couple more bites and just you know it's like okay I removed myself from it and then a, a couple last last kicks in the you know kicks in the head or kicks in the face and it's like ooh you know and then you feel it again but um, anyway, the other really um, bizarre situation this week was um, I, I heard the, the babies crying one night from, um, from my bedroom. And I, I'll show you the clip on it. But um, I went out there and there were all, there was ants. And I, you know, I've had babies for two months now and I don't know, three months. And um, I've never had this problem before, but all of a sudden the ants, all huge stream of ants went into the, the baby house and they were taking little pieces of their food away, but they covered the babies and were biting them. They're biting ants and um, they, all the babies were screaming. And um, so I, I, went, I went out there and I didn't even, I mean, with the amount of noise that is going on in Thailand, I'm surprised that I even heard them. And then if I hear them, you know, I think it could be anything. But, you know, I always check anyway. And good thing I got up and checked and um, they were getting bitten. And um, so it was, you know, I, I remove them all and I tried to put them in a box. There's just so many ants. I mean, ridiculous amounts of ants. And, um, and so then I just had to, like, start keep moving them and you know and they were doing the cutest little little ant, ants in the pants dance or something they were doing this little stomping action to try and get rid of these these ants and then um, I would you know take their little bodies and you know wipe them free and I was trying to wipe wipe all the ants off as much as I could and then I'd move them and I'd sweep the ants out and I kept doing this and the, the little babies were so cute they'd be standing there you know doing this little um, foot stomping dance to get the ants off and and then they'd be lining up like can you get me can you get me like they, they were just so smart they knew that I was helping them and they all needed like help you know so they're like hurry up hurry up you know and everybody was like trying to trying to get me to do everybody as, as fast as possible you know and they're like me again me again you know and they were all lining up it was so cute so um I was I was looking up ants um, and there was a lot to to the um, ant stuff, but really, what it didn't a lot of it didn't apply because of the situation. Um, that I mean, the the way I read what happened was um, first of all, I would consider insects like interdimensional things, just because like an in insect from a world of an insect being so small, everything looks so huge and different, you know. So even though we're um, cohabitating the same space together we don't even have a I mean we, it's like 
totally different worlds, you know, like their, their world is just totally different, everything, different size, different perspective. So, um, just like, uh, you know, on, on planet earth, you know, it's like, you might be around people, but you don't know what's going on. We have different dimensions to ourselves. So my, my personal life and the people I'm talking to and my world is a different dimension to the people sitting at the next table over there and their world and their people. So this is like interdimensionality where there's different dimensions in the same space. For example, I was thinking about how um, the guy who's going to come and do the chicken coops we were we're talking and you know they t they talk all they speak Thai pretty much fluent Thai and I speak you know fluent English and we we don't speak very much of each other's language and then um, we were trying to figure things out and and I, I was thinking you know they they do everything in um, meters not inches and feet you know so I'm like oh how do I you know and then I was thinking they they whip out a ruler and I'm like geez it's still inches but I was looking at the ruler and it is inches but it's also meters and but I'm looking at it and I don't even notice the meters I just immediately see inches so I'm like still reading in inches and, and then he's like no meters and you know and it was like I just I, we were both looking at the same ruler but we were in a different dimension where I was looking at all of the inches and he was looking at the meters you know so it was just it was interesting how um, his world you know, and the Thai language is so different from the American language. His his whole world is just such a different dimension than my world, you know, even though we're both living in the same town and, you know, uh, interacting with each other. So anyway, um, so I understand this interdimensionality as something from another dimension, meaning in your life, but you're not aware of it. It's not a part of your life. So something on the periphery. You know, it could even be, you know, somebody in another country or somebody, you know, in another town. Somebody who is um, focused on you and the, the ants represent cooperation. So there's not just one, but there's a few of them and they're cooperating to like to go against you. They're like eating, they're taking your baby's food and attacking your babies. <laughs> yeah, okay. watch. So, it, you know, it's, and it, it is a little scary. Uh, it was a close call, but they were okay. So they called me. So there was, there's a cooperation between negative people. And um, this happens all the time. You have one person who's, you know, jealous and throwing energy at you or doesn't like you or wants to take you down or wants to have power over you. And they'll work with other people who, who have the same attitude or um, opinion because then they feel stronger and then they bond together in this alliance to, to take you down so in in some other dimensionality this is just a warning that you know be be aware that this stuff is going on maybe it's just be aware that that's why you're tired be aware that this is you know if you feel worn down or whatever I'm not saying worry about it you know because you are protected um, you know I I was called on I could hear my babies so I went out there and it was okay and then even though they were cooperating I cooperated with my babies and they cooperated with me so that we were able to get them ant free so um, that was the the little lesson in that I'm gonna check this camera make sure it's still recording okay so um, Actually, I'm, I'm going to um, play the, this clip for you real quick um, in this little break so you can see. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't film um, the, the cute little ants dance that the chickens were doing or um, when they were all lining up, but um, I, I did film a little bit after um, when we kind of had the situation under control. So I'll show you that clip. Okay, so this is, um, I don't even know what time it is, 11.30, and my little babies were crying, and I heard them, I was in bed, and I woke up, and I didn't know, because there's so many birds here and noises, if it was my chickens or not, but um, I went out there, and there was incredible amount of ants swarming on them, and they're still having a do these little dances to get rid of the ants, but this is crazy on their eyes everywhere. So it's been probably about a half hour when I've been trying to clean them. 
three of these ants. But it seems like um, it seems like they're still doing their little dances. But they're biting ants too, so they're stinging them. Yeah, the little ant would sting you, huh? That would carry. Carry for the little baby chickies. Yeah. Everyone see an ant now? No? We still have an ant. Okay. I don't know. There's still ants here and there. All it takes is one biting ant that will upset them. But I'm glad they're not swarming. What are we gonna do, you guys, tonight? Good thing I have one more box. I a new box. Inside. Yeah, that wasn't a good spot. They were in the kitchen, and I don't even want to go out there because the ants are so bad. They climb up my legs, and this happened on my birthday, June 6th. I went out to uh, do the water, and oh, I know, I know. Let me do this one. And I was just stung by thousands of ants all climbing up my legs. It was just crazy. And, um, oh, it feels awful when they're all biting you. These guys were so little. There was just so many ants all over them. Yeah, that was scary, huh? I don't know. <laughs> you guys are tired now. I have no idea how long they were crying for. I just all of a sudden heard them screaming and I was like, couldn't tell if this was um, baby chicks or what. Look how cute they are. Can you guys see that? Oh, you guys are so cute. Okay. They're funny. They they keep coming for ant check. You have an ant. You want me to do ant check? Ant check. You see ant check? Oh, I think you're okay. You want me to do ant check? Okay, I think you're okay. <laughs> they were doing this little, prr, prr, little dance, and then they all would run up for ant check, and I would get all the ants off them. How cute you guys were! Yeah, pretty smart! Pretty smart! But well, we sure had teamwork! I think that's what the ant is for! To get us to do teamwork! Everyone okay? And there's the stream of the ants. If you can see them. Uh, they're carrying out their food. They're taking the baby food. Okay, so um, anyway, that was that little clip. And um, so, you know, we, we keep having these, we have this concept this week about, um, you know, things kind of going against us in, you know, uh, in more than one. So maybe two, maybe more. but. Um, this, you know, the, the ants were cooperation, cooperating to go after something that we deeply cared about, something, you know, in, in our, you know, our resources, our needs, something was, you know, they were going against us, but we were okay because we had our allies. Um, also, uh, there, there was the, the um, situation with the two bites that caused this allergic reaction. So it's not one, but two. So I'm just seeing this like kind of duplicity or you know mul multiplicity here of things going going after us. But w everything's okay. None of this is like really you know none of it's ending up being a big deal. Um, you know maybe a little irritation. Uh, you know things to, we got to shake off. You know, but um, you know irritation can in in a a clam can make a pearl. You know, so sometimes good things can come out of that. Um, and then one, one last close call that happened, um, I, I happened to be staying up really late one night making phone calls to the United States and doing some things. And um, 
and I, I was so tired and I was like, well, I already checked on the chickens earlier, you know, I, I guess it's all right. And, and then I, um, and then I went to go brush my teeth and I saw the little babies uh, were out of food and I'm like, oh, I guess I'll just go out and check on them one more time. And uh, I came out here and somehow uh, the, the mosquito burner, I put it on this huge cage and then it falls in so it's very safe, you know, it just burns down and it falls into this, this big thing that is protected in there. And um, what happened was I think a chicken uh, fell and tried to get up there and knock the thing and it, it, this little piece flew and I, I opened the door and I'm smelling smoke and I'm seeing smoke and um, this little piece had flown uh, out out of this and was catching the hay on fire so I had come out just in time to you know stamp this out and now I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore because uh, you know I thought that was pretty safe but I guess not so um, Anyway, I'll probably put it out here, but uh, the whole concept is, you know, it was like a very dangerous thing, but I, I was able, because of my, my cooperation with the little babies and my, you know, my, uh, this is a cute little baby, um, just the, the cooperation keeps, keeps, uh, keeps things okay. You know, so we're we're okay. Things are close calls, but um, we're working. The good the good is working enough. Your allies, you're working enough with your allies to to have everything okay. And it's funny. I guess um, I was hanging out with my English friends the other day, and they were saying, um, my friend said, me and this other girl were getting on like a house on fire. I'm like, what? That's the weirdest expression, but it means that you're you're getting along really well. And so I guess it comes from the ideas, uh, you know, the fire will catch on to the house really, you know, it catches on really well. <laughs> but um, I was thinking, oh, well, in in the United States, we'll say, we'll sometimes use that expression from, you know, some religious expressions, you know, as, as if your house is on fire and you're, it means you're totally unconscious. Your house is on fire and you, you're not even aware, you know, like you, you need to um, wake up. Your house is on fire, you know. Um, so, and again, even with the the fact that this house almost went on fire, um, <clears throat> we keep having this duality of things getting a lot, people getting along really good, having your allies, raising the energy, being really strong and positive with your your connections and your relationships, and that really outweighs and and protects you from any, you know, any lower negative energies that are maybe conspiring to go against you. So anyway, um, you know, close calls, little irritation, but we got our allies, n no big deals, um, and everything is kind of on the up and up. We need to take our time to, you know, get our tender, loving care, care, tend to our own needs. Um, needs are being met. Uh, I wasn't sure about funding, you know, like how I was going to pay for certain things and I did get a donation. I, I need another chicken house and sounds like um, some money is going to come through that I've been waiting for for a long time. So um, our needs are getting met also. So that that's really great. So um, the chickens are going to be provided for as, as we needed it. So, um, you know, even though there's certain things going on, um, everything's going as best as it can, you know, so, um, and whatever, whatever irritates us is creating our pearls and it's, it's, you know, giving, creating new bonds and, and strengthening bonds also. So, um, you know, what, what's supposed to go against us is actually working for us to, to make us more solid and more strong and more um, aligned with people and you know more cooperative to, to know how, how we really can have good things and and have good relationships and strong strong things that are working it's like we're being tested and we're passing you know so anyway so I'm gonna do um, a, a uh, watermelon reading today <laughs> so um, I'm gonna get everybody excited with the bag and I'll be right back Okay, so um, before I do the reading, I just wanted to mention this little baby here, um, cause, just because she came up to me during the reading uh, when I was inside, and um, 
she's she's notable too um, it's really interesting she's also um, having a hard time with her frizzle feathers to keep up with mama and normally uh, when she, when the babies have a mom they have no interest in me it's only the babies without a mom that I get to um, you know interact with but um, this one will come running to me because it has a hard time keeping up and, and jumping up on places so it, it, it has learned to cooperate with me and um, has befriended me as as an ally to help this little baby you know do do what it needs to do and go where it needs to go so um, you know just another she came up um, to me when I, I keep talking about the the concept of cooperation this week cooperating with you know people who care about us people who are willing to help cooperate but cooperating with friends you know and um, you know making alliances and um, having that strength so same thing with this little baby um, it, it is uh, really able to do everything that all the other babies can do by coming up to me and getting me to help it so okay now we'll move on to the reading okay and I'm gonna put this down while I get the chicken Okay, so we got um, uh, we got Dandelion twice, which we got last week. So she's Make a Wish, and not just Make a Wish, but um, uh, it's about having willpower and and really using using your your own mind to um, be strong and confident to be able to attain your wish. So it, you make your wish and you, you send out your, your, your dreams. You, you know, blow on the dandelion and send out all the seeds. But, um, but it's also about um, being strong because dandelion means uh, uh, the lion's tooth and the lion has to do with the ego and uh, willpower. And the tooth has to do with communication. So it's like talk to the people, you know, talk, you know, use use your voice, use your your um, power to to see what you can do to get what you want. Um, and you know, the universe is ready when you're ready to put put your your wishes out there to uh, respond to you. So um, another, the second one we got. Um, Oh, Bina, teaching and understanding. So again, this is about having conversation. Um, it's about being able to transmit information. Like uh, you, you know, you, you ha take the time to be with someone and really, um, you know, give them the whole picture. You know, transmit a reality. Bring that instead of being, you know, having two different dimensions. You merge your dimensions. You show them this dimension. So. Um, you know, also means like to to see between. So it's about clear vision, um, to to have good discernment, to to know right from wrong, and um, good good intentions from bad intentions. You know, so to be to be able to really see things clearly. Um, and then the last one we had was it was a blue Polish boy. So this represents. Um, a female, a physical female mind, okay, uh, so he represents physical female mind that is um, 
I, I want to say part of the, the fifth chakra because the, the color blue, so I associate blue with the, the fifth chakra, which is has to do with coming together again um, with with people who you're supposed to be have in your life. And also um, it has to do with your life path. It's like your blueprint um, of you and also the map to guide you, you know. So it is your higher mind also. So it's like um, your, you know, your higher thinking brain it's more more like you know what makes you human not you know beyond beyond the animal um third chakra which is really like you know the computer mind and the willpower which is you know necessary but it's more like the the left brain is the the uh third chakra and we're talking right brain here with the um the other part of our brain like the, the really the the one that um speaks silently to to the universe and the one that even speaks communication again is is the fifth chakra so our ability to talk you know we don't want to talk um when we talk from our ego we're not being honest a lot of the times we'll say things that are easy we'll say things that you know can can um get us through or get us by or make you know make life uh easy for us where when we speak from our fifth chakra we are communicating that truth. We are doing that teaching and understanding. We are transmitting our our sense of self and you know our our knowledge and our our you know really our our psychism, our concept of the world and what what is going on and our experience. We're communicating the truth of our experience. So, um, so uh, because it represents female mind, it's something about. Um, either talking to a female about the truth of their experience or a female um, listening, you know, to you or, you know, some, something about a female. Maybe the female uh, mind has to communicate to a male or to another female or maybe you need to go bring your reality, the fifth chakra, you know, bring, bring that to a female for, for you know, uh, processing and, and kind of perspective on things. So. Um, uh, I guess that's about it. So really this week is about cooperation, finding your allies, um, you know, communicating our truth of our experience to the people who we need to communicate it to. We don't have to tell everybody, just the people who we, we know are important to, to share our, our, you know, heart and our soul and our life with the people who we want to share with. Those are the people we talk to. So, um, so anyway, uh, I hope that you got what you needed out of this, and I'll see you again next week. Thanks.